Facts First presents Best Bad Parking Revenges Number 1. Curb Appeal at Its Best The person driving this Corvette decided that they should be able to take up two parking spaces to protect their car. Well, since these were the last two parking spots in the lot, this was very inconsiderate. When the driver of his truck pulled in and saw what was going on, they weren't going to take this laying down. Instead, thanks to the big tires, the driver parked up on the curb right beside the Corvette. Number 2. Four spots for one truck equals trouble The person who drives this truck must really love this truck. In a crowded parking lot, they decide to take up four parking spaces. Clearly, it has angered somebody who just so happened to have a package of sidewalk chalk in their car. They drew arrows pointing at the car and wrote exactly what they thought of this thoughtless driver. Number 3. The Business Card The person who made this business card obviously has run-ins with bad parkers on a regular basis. I mean, why else would a person go through the trouble of having business cards made up? Come to think of it, I, I want a set of these. The card's pretty funny. It's also quick and easy to call out a person who has no problem taking up more parking spaces than they really need just to protect their car. Number 4. Carriage Revenge The person who parked their car here obviously was not supposed to. For starters, they're too close to the building, which is likely a fire hazard. Second, the store employees collect the shopping carts in the parking lot. They need a place to put them so each set can be brought in one at a time. The employee obviously did not appreciate this driver taking up their space, so they box them in with the carriages. Can't really feel bad for the driver. They should have known better. Number 5. The Note It's not uncommon for a person to leave a note on a thoughtless driver's windshield when they're mad. This note takes it a step further than your typical note. The note thanks the driver for parking like a jerk, even though they used a stronger word than jerk. At the bottom of the note is a condom with the words, please do not reproduce underneath. This driver must have been humiliated when they got back to their vehicle. Number 6. Taking it too far This driver was obviously so angry that the driver of the yellow car took up two spaces they decided to get their revenge. They've taken the revenge plot a bit far, though. The silver SUV parked so close to the yellow car that the driver would not be able to get into the driver's seat even if they tried. To make matters worse, the SUV drove up right onto the curb to make their point. Number 7. The Fire Hose All drivers know that you're not supposed to park too close to a fire hydrant. Most even know that there's a good reason for that law. The person driving this car either thought the laws didn't pertain to them or there was no need for the law in the first place. When a fire broke out and the fire department needed access to the hydrant, the driver was nowhere to be found. To get that much-needed water to put out the fire, they put the hose right through the person's car. Serves them right for not knowing any better. Number 8. The Diagram This note was written by a driver whose neighbors constantly park in front of their driveway, blocking them in. The note shows a diagram of how the person parked and then an explanation about how they should park. It was not very nice, especially what the homeowner wrote at the bottom of the note. The homeowners must think the driver has poor hygiene, too, because they went on to explain how to wash the person's hair. Number 9. The Horizontal Park This is by far one of the best bad parking revenges. The driver of this SUV was so worried that their truck would get hit at an Outback Steakhouse they decided to park horizontally rather than vertically. The other customers going to eat at the establishment, they didn't think this was right, so they decided to get back at this driver. One car pulled in front of the truck and the other pulled into the rear, completely blocking the driver in. Kind of makes you wonder what happened afterwards, doesn't it? Did the driver of the SUV seek out who was blocking them in order to ask them to move? Was the driver too embarrassed to do anything, so they just waited in the restaurant for the two cars to leave? Did the three drivers get into a fight in the parking lot? Unfortunately, we will never know. Number 10. No parking The car in the photo on the left is completely boxed in by the buses. It leads you to believe that this area was for buses only, and the drivers didn't appreciate a car parking on their turf. In the second picture, the driver of this smart car doesn't want to lose their spot when they leave, so they build a small enclosure for their small car so that nobody will take their spot when they leave. It may have made people mad, but it is kind of a smart idea. Subscribe for more 